Welcome to part one of a very special edition of Reverse Angle, where you're going to see some of my favorite memories of playing sports with some of Hollywood's top celebrities. On today's show, Mark Harmon from Chicago Hope, ER's Noah Wiley, Home Improvement's Richard Carn and Zachary Ty Bryan. From the world of rock and roll meatloaf, Debbie Matinopoulos from ABC's The View, Full House's Dave Coulier, and Baywatch babe Alexandra Paul. Well, for this these nine months, I'm training for the Hawaiian Ironman Triathlon. So, uh, so yeah, I do at least two sports a day, sometimes three. Okay, so go I, ahead, let's I'm go down first. there. Downhill is always best. Okay. So you joined Baywatch the third season. The third season, yes, with um, Pamela Lee and David Charvet, Nicole Eggert, and I came out at the same time. So that must have been cool. Was that your big break? No, actually, it was just another job. My first audition, I canceled. I told my agent I was sick. I didn't want to go in on it. I didn't want to do a television series. Really? I'd been acting for 10 years. I'd done features and TV movies, and I didn't really want to do a television series. But then I decided, OK, I better go in and audition. My agent will get mad. So I went in the next week. Did you get on the first try? By the time I left the room, they hired me. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. I think Hasselhoff liked me because I was tall. That's why. And you know what? People on Baywatch are pretty short. Is this the uh, greatest operating room in the world? Oh, this is pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. You look around the history of Yankee Stadium. I mean, you just, you just have to breathe it in. Uh, you want me to talk or just breathe yeah. it in? No, just breathe <laughs> it in for a sec. Ooh, All right, you want, let's up. go. You want to get in the class? <laughs> I actually want to get this over with. If we have to do this. Okay, we got to do it. Might as well do it. Okay. <laughs> hide me. Hide you, oh, hide me. So oh, you just... I'd rather do the Halva and the Gila thing the whole time. It's much easier. Right. I can do this. It's easy. <laughs> oh, easy. Yeah. Okay, Deb, one more would you rather. One more would you rather. Would you rather watch a porno with your parents or watch a porno starring your parents? Ah! <laughs> now, wait a minute. As Barbara Walters would say, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. <laughs> Do they dance like this in Greece? Yeah, let me show you how to do runway. It's a perfect opportunity yeah. to learn how to do runway. Watch this. <laughs> do runway, go. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Now, is that good? So I'm not the world's greatest hip hop dancer, but each week I will at least attempt to sport with a celebrity, and they know what they're doing. In Alaska once, you had quite a hair-raising experience. Uh, yeah, I was uh, 20 years old, hadn't been doing stand-up that long, and I was working at a uh, topless, bottomless strip club. So, Mom, if you're watching, uh, that was 15 years ago. So You've moved up in the world since yes, then. Yes, I now have. They're just, uh, now they're topless. Just now they're topless. just topless. Yeah, and uh, 
So I was working at this place and uh, it was the first week they were doing comedy there and they decided they were going to do a midnight show and, and I don't think the audience wanted to see comedians from Los Angeles, they wanted to see um, strippers. So um, I was up there and a, a heckler started, you know, uh, heckling me and I started going after him a little bit and we started sparring and um, next thing you know the guy walked up on stage and pulled his jacket open and had a gun. Kind of, kind of uh, holstered up there, and uh, I just walked off, and the guy, they ushered him out, and it was kind of like the Old West. The music started back up, and the girl came <laughs> out and <laughs> dancing, <laughs> and, <laughs> and the owner came back, and he said, boy, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen, Dave. And I said, you know, that guy had a gun. He said, let me tell you something about Anchorage, Alaska. Unless that bullet actually hits you, you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> I thought, I'm 20 years old, I don't even have a career yet, I'm going to get killed at a strip club. <laughs> My parents will be proud. I don't try to do anything. See, I don't ever try to control an audience. I let the audience go where they want to go. You would never, ever, this is something you would never see me do on a stage. And if anybody on my stage ever did it, I'd shoot them. I think that's the stupidest thing to ever come down the pike. And I know that 93% of you people that walk on stage go out and go, come on, it sucks. <laughs>